The version of ZBrush 2021.5 introduced the slicing and creasing and filling of the polygons. Now, with this new feature, you don't have to let your walls of your topology restrict your creative process. Now you can slice your topology along an edge, face or point to control the direction in which you want to take the construction of polygons. So once you've got everything in place, you can apply a crease to multiple edges with two clips to maintain the crisp edge needed for your next hard surface model. Then you can also use the fill polygroup option to mark the faces where you will add an extra layer of topology to create a suite of armor or the right touch of detail on a utility knife. So you have a lot of possibility now. So let's see how it works. So I'll go to the light box here or let, let's do one thing instead of going to the light box. Let me go to this primitive and this tool and I'll take the sphere from here. We'll draw the sphere. Go to edit. Now it's uh, not a poly mesh 3D yet. So I will just click on the poly mesh 3D. And now I can perform anything over here. Now let's uh, turn on the poly, uh, my polyframe here. Okay, it's quite dark, so let me change the material to skin shade 4. Okay, uh, so I can see actually everything clear. Now, what I will do here is that I will just go to my Z modeler brush. So B, Z, and M, and here we are. Now, Let's do one thing here. Let's delete this part of the polygon here, like this, uh, these faces that, uh, like the bottom polygons from the sphere. So, what I will do over here is that I will go to the polygon first. Okay. Then I'll make sure I have delete and poly loop. Now what I will do here is that I will just go zoom in so I can see this orange uh, line here. So it shows me the loop of uh, like direction. So I am in the left direction. So if I click here, so it will delete all of these. Okay. Once it is done, what I will do next is that I will go to my polygon, any one of this. Okay. Delete and this time I will choose island. Okay and delete island so i will so i have two islands one is on the top one is on the bottom so i just want to delete the bottom island and i will click here let me zoom in yep yeah, let's remove now sometimes it happens so you have to just zoom in and zoom out to see everything here okay now i cannot see underneath what's going on because there is no thickness here so later on we can turn it on but right now i just need this part here now let's see how the new uh, option which is basically known as the slice and crease brush okay so if you will uh, just go to your polygon actions here you will notice there are a lot of different options here now the options that we have the new one is the slice mesh if i will go to the slice mesh you can see that the target is poly and there is if you want to slice and crease at the same time the edges or you don't want to crease the edges so it's up to you but i like to crease the edges while i'm slicing so i, I will keep this on so this is uh, i'm doing for the polygon you can do the same thing with uh, the edges like if i will go to the edge uh, space bar i have the same option here okay same option I have here is for the point. So I can go to the point, slice, okay, mesh, same options. So for all of them, I have turned it on in case if, you know, if I move by any place or, you know, uh, here or there. So to avoid anything happens wrong. Now I can go to any one of the edge or point or polygon. I can start slicing by just selecting here. Okay, then 
like suppose if I click here and then I click here and then I click here and then I click here and you can see that how nicely it is slicing and creasing at the same time okay and then I can click here to this part and then this part and in this part and it will keep on continuing uh, my slicing if I don't want to continue suppose at this a, uh, end I don't want to continue because see it is continued to control Z if I if you don't want to continue your slice and crease so you can press space bar and once you will press the space bar you can start with the new slicing area like suppose I will start here and there will be a new slice area here so maybe you can make some ad other sort of adjustment here okay so just random points I'm just making here and when you are done just space bar and it's gone now you can start with a new one okay so uh, let's remove this so that I can have more space to show you another uh, option that we have. Now if I were to point and click over here, uh, uh, press the space bar, you will see there is an option here for the crease. And in the crease, I have shortest part. Now, now what the shortest part will do, I will select the short, shortest part. And if I will click on any one of these paths, like, uh, like this point, and click on this point, so it will start increasing those points basically okay so this is how I can easily do that and uh, it will be continued same like the slice mesh uh, like like slice mesh so what you can do to end you can just press spacebar and now the new one will start and suppose wh what does it mean by shortest path let's see if I click here and suppose if I don't click on anything going straight if I click over here because I clicked here and now I'm clicking on another point which is not making a straight line so what it will do is that it will search for it thus uh, for the shortest path between these point and create a crease over there now if I will go to uh, if I will come back to here and click here okay and suppose here so you can see it has found the shortest path here okay now if I press space bar, click here, and then click here again, okay, so it couldn't find any shortest path, and, but if I will click here, so now you can see that the shortest path is there. So there are some limitations here for the shortest path, okay, so that you have to keep in mind when you're working on here. So this is how you can make with the shortest path. And with the slice mesh, you can go like there is no limitation. You could go any any way you want. Okay, so now let me undo everything. So we can have oops, I don't want this to undo. And uh, so that we can have a fresh start here. So I will go back to my uh, polygon, use the slice mesh edges. Slice mesh is already there, uh, and then point slice mesh as well and let's uh, make uh, you can click and drag as well okay and let's make a, uh, a different sort of a shape around here that can act like a my like sliced edge Now here I have this and I can make one more maybe a different sort of oops press spacebar to end that now you can continue with a different one so what I'm doing is that I'm clicking and dragging instead of just clicking you can just click also and it will just make uh, uh, like it will slice and crease your polygon so you have both ways to do it Now, as we have our these two uh, faces being made with the slice mesh, 
So now what if I want them to be a different sort of a polygraph and how I can convert them into different polygraph is that I'll just go to one uh, polygon space bar polygraph and then I have here a new option which is the new fill I will select this and I will choose stop at crease edges so that wherever th th there is a cre uh, crease edges stopping it will stop at that uh, part and there it will create a new poly uh, like a polygraph as well I don't want to override the other polygraphs so I will choose stop on different polygraphs so these two options I will select now if I will click on any polygon of this uh, slice mesh that I created it will convert this into a, a polygraph and here if I click same thing now Simply, I can press Control Shift, click over here, and here again to you know remove it, and then you know I can go to my geometry here, modify topology, okay, and then I can delete the hidden, and I can turn on the dynamic subdivision, okay, and a little bit thickness I can give it to it. So you can see that there is a thickness here. Now I can use the offset to make the thickness going in and in or out. So this is how I can get this. The whole thing uh, like a, a complete game changer over here. Okay. So this is how you can uh, work with this new uh, slice mesh with crease option, uh, crease on parts, and new fill option here for the like polygroup. So I hope you have liked this new feature here. Uh, basically, it gives you a lot of different opportunities to create uh, hard surface models, you know, like uh, science fiction models and mechanical models and so many different other things here. And if you have enjoyed my video, please click on the like button and I will be uploading new lessons, tutorials, live sessions and full courses along with other useful videos. So don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get all the notifications. I will highly appreciate if you will give a shout out to my channel on your social media accounts, which will help me to get more subscribers. So if you have YouTube account or if you have Twitter or if you have Facebook account, so please do share my videos there so I can get more subscribers and this will motivate me to create more content for you all. So guys, thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson Thank you.